Hey guys, Drip here. As you know, Trash Battles just released another trash video. And lucky for you guys, your boy was paid a decent amount of money for this. And you can tell by my new phone. Let's get into it. I'm obviously going to be skipping all the irrelevant bullshit, including the fight animation, which is the only good thing about the video. Then teleports to their location by launching himself through an alternate dimension where time stands still. Yes, according to the Daisenshu guidebook, it's a dimension hop. You can actually see this in between space in some movies and games. If you want an explanation on why the instant transmission realm is actually outer versal, there's proof for that, right? Objective proof, not things that can be argued, things that are objective, right? So just check out my old um videos here dragon ball z scale it's right there it's in the video itself so just watch through it and then you get the explanation free of charge and yes i did draw this but it was a long time ago i am so much better than this now god goku reached a level of power that could compete with the greatest of deities nearly shattering the whole universe with a single clash on his first go Dragon Ball's cosmology is unique. This model is said to be an accurate depiction of Universe 7. It genuinely surprises me how year after year after year, Death Battles is still the most disgraceful and most disappointing power scaling channel in the community. If you had read into the Daisenshu further, you would have noticed this scan. The same Daisenshu which you got the Macrocosm Diagram scan for and the Cooler scan for, right? The same Daisenshu you claim to have read. If you had read even further, you would have gotten this scan where Toriyama quite literally contradicts what you said by saying that it is in fact not an accurate description, but just something for the readers and the people writing the series to wrap their mind around. Because obviously you can't draw something that is infinite on paper, right? And it's literally stated to be infinite in your same Daisenshu. So I don't know why you're trying to rat for a finite universe in Dragon Ball. That literally makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Fidel commented that heaven is just as large as a universe, and the Daisenshu backs her up. And, uh, that's heaven, big planet. So let's scale things up with that in mind. Doing so would make Universe 7 over 1,500 times larger than our own observable universe. I love how you blatantly ignore all the implications of an infinite universe within Dragon Ball. For example, this scan from the same Daisenshu where you got that scan of the macrocosm diagram, right? The same Daisenshu quite literally says infinitely expansive universe and for those idiots in the comment section who are going to tell me that expansive means expanding no it does not mean expanding expansive refers to when you're referring to an expanse of something it comes from the word expanse for example when you say a vast expanse of space so when you say something is infinitely expansive you're talking about it being an infinite expanse of space it's not that hard to read I mean, I know you're just gonna ignore the fact that scans like this exist. Takao Koyama exists. I love how in the Daisenshu, it specifically states infinite space, not matter, infinite space. Couldn't find a translation for this, but I'm pretty sure it says something about infinite space. Same Daisenshu, endless expansive space. Same Daisenshu, infinite galaxies. What more do you need, trash battles? What more do you need when you have several statements in the same Daisenshu you read to get those scans, right? You claim to read, by the way, to get those scans. What more do you need? Why do you have to fucking downplay? And this isn't even taking into account the fucking afterlife scans that get it to freaking out reversal. Which I explained in these videos, by the way. Go watch them. Please go watch them. I explained in extreme detail and I don't want to make this video too long. So just go watch them. What more do you need versus battles? Y'all are trash. You're trash. Goku used instant transmission to teleport through time and dimensions. He outsped a god who could see the future. He defeated Dark King Fu, who was gonna rewrite the entire universe. <sighs> Fu's plan was not to... <laughs>
<laughs> Fu's plan was not to rewrite the entire universe. You did not watch Dragon Ball Heroes. Fu's entire plan was to gather energy by sucking life force out of all 12 universes and creating his own. For experiments and shit, because he's a weirdo. Again, you did not watch or read the series. Y'all are trash. Xeno Goku can break space time just by going Super Saiyan 4. And that is the end of their Goku scale. They did not include anything else for Xeno Goku. Xeno Goku. By the way, Dragon Ball Super Goku is stronger than Xeno Goku. If you want to debate me or discuss with me about it, go ahead and try. I've beaten too many people on it. It's not even funny anymore. By the way... They didn't even mention any of Xeno Goku's broken hacks that would take days on end to mention all of them. They didn't even mention Xeno Goku being able to destroy the fictional Japan, Beats World, the Charisma World, the True Japan, the Realm of Toribot. Like, they didn't mention any of that at all. They didn't mention the fact that the Instant Transmission Zone actually takes you to a place that is stated to have no concepts of time and space while transcending time and space. They didn't tell you that, right? They didn't tell you that the afterlife is stated to be a place that transcends dimensions that cannot be perceived from the human world. They didn't tell you that. They didn't tell you that afterlife is a place that is separated from the universe in a metaphysical way. They didn't tell you that, right? They didn't tell you that the afterlife is stated to have no concept of time, no passage of time, no time, no space, multiple times. They didn't tell you that, right? They didn't tell you any of this. They didn't tell you that Goku and Jiren were literally stated to have super dimensional speed, right? They didn't tell you. They didn't tell you that the crack of time is actually separated from the dimension of time and contains infinite amounts of timelines with these timelines containing outerversal constructs within themselves and these timelines being stated to be dimensions or realms that transcend space and time to which the space and time within of these timelines can be scaled to bare minimum high hyperversal. They didn't tell you that, right? Of course not, because they were obviously paid to downplay Goku. Obviously, year after year, this happens. Now, for everything I just said, I've made videos regarding all of this. So just go watch those previous videos. I don't want to spoil or ruin my scale because I'm going to be including the scales themselves in the next order of videos I'm working on. So either you just wait for those ones or watch the previous ones to get an idea right so please do like i'm not trying to be lazy but i don't want to make the video too long he's fast enough to reach the edge of the universe in seconds or even break the bonds of infinity it's really funny how they fail to mention that superman has to accelerate for long periods of time before he even reaches mftl plus like, bro, casual Superman is like bullet speed, bro. He literally gets tagged by bullets casually, like when he's not like accelerating through space. Like he literally has to accelerate for long periods of time before he can reach those levels of speed, which is fodder to even Namek Saga level characters. So please do not ever bring a Superman cross the universe feat. Like, bro... The spaceship going from planet Earth to Namek was going there in six days. Mind you, Namek is on the other side of the infinite universe, right? Even if we take a bare minimum and say that the Dragon Ball universe is finite, it would still be way, 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 way bigger, like right? Way, 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 way bigger than a regular universe due to the fact that it says it has innumerable galaxies, right? So Namek would be on another side of the universe right king kai could keep up with his spaceship but when goku and frieza were fighting he couldn't keep up with them at all what does that imply i'll leave that to you wait he can do all that but batman can punch him out really you're probably thinking of elseworld stories outside main canon like dark knight returns it's a good question though superman's powers have fluctuated over time for a variety of reasons I mean, fluctuated is kind of putting it way too nicely and simply. This man was literally vegetable level once. Like, bro, I'm not even gonna hold you. Mans was literally being bounded by Brussels sprouts, bro. Brussels sprouts. Mans was vegetable level. You call that fluctuation? How 
However, for Death Battle, we take the characters at their best. You take the characters at their best, but you only mentioned 1% of Goku's feats. That's crazy. You guys are fucking liars, bruh. What the fuck? Superman can resist being erased from existence, such as tanking Dark Side's Omega Beams. Uh, 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 please, Goku off guard! For example, he and other Kryptonians can effortlessly travel through time. I remember making a video explaining why time travel has nothing to do with immeasurable speed, so don't ever say that ever again. Saying space time has lost its meaning for him. He really just said. I know there's DC fans in the comments who will try to wank this scan to fucking outer. The scan contextually doesn't even refer to that, as it quite literally says, oh, these concepts have largely lost their meaning to me. For something to be outerversal, it has to completely lose meaning to you, right? For you to scale to outerversal based off of those concepts. Which again proves that that is not referring to objective abstract concepts, but just subjective concepts of the limit or the idea of space within the verse. Then. Remember, Superman defies physics. Like when he used heat vision to restart the universe by making an all new Big Bang. We've seen that his universe has a radius of at least 100 trillion light years, but we can calculate a more exact figure. The DC universe is 15 billion years old and expands at 60 trillion light years per half second. This means its radius must be over 50 nonillion light years across. None the what? That's 31 zeros and Well, I don't really know how to attack this. I usually go with the idea that DC universes are infinite in size because it is stated multiple times. So if the retcon things are now canon, then it means the universes are both infinite and finite? Or what? Or it means they're like different universes and some are infinite and some are finite? Like which one? <laughs> Either way, it's still completely fodder. Namek Goku bodies. I mean, why are you mentioning this like it's relevant at all to Goku? Soups help make that happen. Well, about one fifth of it. That's still immense power. But if you want something bigger, here's the anti-monitor blasting Golden Age Superman with all the energy of the antimatter universe. And then Superman, you know, punched him. So hard, it kickstarted another one of those reboots. Such as when he took on the World Forger, one of the most powerful reality shapers in all of creation. Who was in the sixth dimension, crafting a whole new multiverse to replace the one Clark calls home? Who's gonna stop him? Superman could, and the Forger knew it. So he was trapped on a world with a sun so distant he could never escape. Or so the Forger thought. Instead, Clark found the strength he needed to fly at that sun, dip through a ton of stars, KO the World Forger, and shatter his new multiverse with a single punch. There are so many ways this battle could go. Mm, nah. Nah. Superman can manage until it's like probably like late Boo Saga, then he gets stomped, bruh. Like, at that point, it just becomes a stomp fed. And um, if you include Dragon Ball Super, that's just overkill. Extreme overkill. If you include Dragon Ball Heroes, still the same thing as Dragon Ball Super. Extreme overkill. Especially with all the other continuities. Yeah, for real. Goku would kick almost every other Superman's ass, except for the main one. There's a lot to cover, so let's address the five categories most representative of this fight. First up, strength. Both could hit hard enough to break or make their whole universe, or take it in stride, like when Superman got smacked by the whole antimatter universe. At most, Dragon Ball's universe is 1,505 times larger than our own. Oh nah, bro. Man's thought he was slick, slipping in at most. Like, bro, what the fuck, bruh? What in the actual fuck? The base universe is infinite in size, bruh. The universe and the demon realm are contained within a hyperspace. Garlic Jr.'s dead zone is an infinite dimensional superspace. The timelines in Dragon Ball form an infinite dimensional Hilbert space. There is quantum mechanics which exists, exists inside of Dragon Ball, right? So it allows that to be the case. I explained this in multiple videos. Afterlife transcends dimensions. Fuck you mean by at most, bro. Like, get the fuck out, bro. You're a clown. But even if we highball Goku by quadrillions or quintillions of times, the gap is just too much. 
it's really crazy how in the anime, Zamasu is stated, right? To have an immortal body that can infinitely increase in strength. And there is no reason to believe this is hyperbole, bro. It's not a hyperbole. And even if you want to take it as hyperbole, the amount of time stronger that Zamasu would have to grow stronger, right? For them to say that he can increase his strength infinitely would be so inconceivably higher than Superman's measly nonillion in terms of numbers, right? So using your logic and your lo logic of scaling, right? It really doesn't fucking matter. Goku still outscales, even in multipliers, and how much stronger he's gotten. Especially with the World Forger feat. Not even heroes can beat with that. Bro, shut the fuck up. Literally just one 1994 Dragon Ball Z scan. One shots and bodies composite DC, bruh. Like, it's not even fucking funny. And even without using all the cosmology scaling, right? Even without using any cosmology scaling whatsoever... In Dragon Ball, canonically speaking, there are several non-hyperbolic statements in both anime and manga implying that the characters got infinitely stronger. So if you sum all that up, it still gets Goku higher than the measly six-dimensional that you scaled Superman. Goku slams Superman. It's not even close at all. You disagree? Join my Discord server and get bodied by my students.